Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I am Gamer Donnie. Today we're going to be hauling a load, an oversized load, doing a long haul on the oversized load. Um, we'll be going from Sterling to Glendiv, Hood Dive. Um, it's going to take, let's see how long it's going to take to get there. Uh, 13 hours and 2 minutes and 771 miles. Um, 44,000 pounds, combine harvester. We should get about 65 grand off the job. And the truck itself is a, the lovely Peterbilt 379. Um, not extended hood, it's just a regular edition here. We got the triaxle truck. We got a Detroit Series 60 diesel engine pushing a little over 600 horses. Um, no, this truck has the Detroit Series 60 that's 732 horses. It has the heavy haul engine in it. Um, so that's the plan. We're going to see how far we can make it with this load. We got a ways to go. Um, it looks like it's mostly interstate, so it shouldn't be too bad, really. Um, the drive through here would be like a nightmare through Oklahoma and Texas. I don't know why my map won't go any further over. It's just like from there to there. That's it. So, let's get the thing started. I need to put the uh, different airline thing on there for the airlines. Where the hell am I at? See how they're all stretched out on the back? Yeah. <laughs> Make it really shit. So it's more like a right above the tag axle instead of way the hell up there in front by the head of crack. But anyway, let's uh, see if our axle's up or down. Uh, it was up. And now it is down. There we go. So, let's get on the road. We're going to start off by making the right hand turn right here. Make sure it's clear. Oh, we got the 18 speed. Eaton, fuller, 18 speed. And transmission in it. Almost a full tank of almost a full tank of fuel. But we should be good on that. Got our beacons on. For safety. Sir, go straight, ten four on that one. Got you loud and clear, buddy. Real loud, real clear. I wish it was daytime, so freaking bad, man. I hate hauling heavy loads at night. I don't know what the code thing to type in the console is to change the time. So, looks like we're just 
just going to drive it through the night, I guess. Get ready to turn right. I don't know what to do about the fucking chug a lugging stuttering like it does. I can't figure out how to fix it. Turn right. <laughs> As soon as the blinker turns off, then it starts going again. As soon as you turn the blinker on, then it's the, the, I try to put different bumpers, different blinkers on, and it's just, I don't know. Try to turn it off some mods, turn the other ones on. It's, I can't figure it out. I'm, I've tried and came to the point where it just had a little deal with it. I've even turned the graphics up and down, changed the resolution, tried full screen window. And, Nothing. I don't know if it's this, this truck. I need to try it in a different truck. But. This thing's going to use a lot of fuel. That big old Detroit in there. This truck is made by Project P3XX, which is a group of people. Um, there is a variety of Peterbilt, the 300 series trucks, all built into one. I think there's four or five different ones. Um, all in one mod. So you change the hood and frame and stuff out through the end game. So you can set it up any way you want to. Extended frame, short frame, slam it to the ground, raise it up. Add axles, remove axles. You know, possibilities are endless when it comes to Peterbilt 300 series. So, this is the first time I've seen the 379 with uh, without being payware. So, I'm extremely happy. And it has 379 EXHD, the extended hood version. So that, that's something I really love. I love those trucks. They're just, I think they're beautiful. I still haven't got my ETA thing working up there on the hub yet. So that's a, still broken like always. I guess it could slow down a little bit. Let's try to keep it 70 or under. Uh-oh. You can see number tail lights. See, turn the blinker on, chug a lug, a lug, a lug. I turn it off. I've even tried turning the beacons off. It still doesn't. I have no idea. I don't think I have no special headlight mod or light flares or anything like that. I don't have none of that special stuff on. Realistic headlights, nope. Just default lights. Have no idea. Got any ideas? Leave it in the comment section, please. I will have to try using a different truck, seeing if maybe if it's just this truck, but I 
don't know. I drove 357, uh, 379 EXHT for a long time. Another didn't have no stutters out of it or anything. Turn the reflections up and down. Some people say if you change the mirror quality, it helps. And, uh, it, it didn't do nothing for me. I could set the graphics on the highest setting, and it still runs this exactly the same as the on low. So. just something about the game engine it's just getting overloaded or I don't know go oh, watch it this thing will get away from you look down before you know it you're doing 103 got no stage jake in it either it's just either jake on or jake off oh it does too okay that's nice all right it's a three stage jake that's good i didn't know that i thought it was only one things we learn let's see we've got three quarter cycle fuel still so Still, I said that wrong, didn't I? Three quarters of a tank of fuel. Still. So we should be good for a while. The GPS thing is, uh, it's called Google's Night GPS. Um, just go ahead and do it. Uh, ATS Google Night GPS. Or make a truck simulator google that and you should be able to find it very easily um, i think i believe it's even on the steam workshop too so i want to check that out that's where i get most of my mods it's from the steam workshop Change my buttons around now, it's just screwing me all up. <laughs> Northbound down, thirty thousand wheels are rolling. Say if I buy that 6.8 mile to a gallon average that he's got going on down there, that's bull. Not going to be no 6.8 no, off this thing. Be more like 2. 2.8. Coming over, clear the wall, make a hole. actually see the gas gauge going down. <laughs> one plus about driving at night time 
story about the stupid traffic. slowed us down a little bit, didn't it? behind us and you see the stars out in front. Nope, now the clouds moved in as soon as I said something. Oh no, they didn't either. I was looking at the visor. Damn. she got. truck like I'm feeling is going to be cutting us off here in a second if we don't get up there Amp 
Bulezzo. Those are creepy ass vans. I'm staying in the middle lane. Stay left. How the hell? That's stupid. Go flying up, running right into the side of the trailer. Did I get a ticket for it? Yeah, that's, that's about right. That's real life. I was whipping it back and forth through the lanes. I had the blinker on, was going slowly. Dumbass decided to fly up on it. Could somebody make a mod where we could have like the middle finger and stick it out the window or something? We need something like that. when this game pisses us off because it doesn't want to work right. It's already 3 a.m. so it'll be coming up here soon. I've just been cooking it. Been doing a lot of cooking. Coming over. Um, drivers got to quit returning empty. It's like a grand every time they do. It's killing me. It's putting a hurting in the pocket. Try to start firing people. That matches Stevens. Team Vole. Was worked at Siemens. seconds just in case and merge over beautiful Pin 
Pennsylvania again. Damn, there's always fog on that road, interstate. Always fog and always a pile of them. Get one about every mile or so, driver. Go straight. Ten four. Going straight. Somebody made old granny navy voice. Couldn't think about trying it out, just see. on this part of the map. It's not just like flat. I get it, Wyoming is pretty much flat like this, but... <laughs> 5.18 a.m. We'll wait until about 7.30, 8 o'clock and we'll cut the lights off. Traffic's gonna be picking up. That morning commute. Already burnt half a tank of fuel. I've been steady on it too. And this truck got like a crackle to its sound. Faster, just a wee bit. So you guys get you an Xbox or uh, PS5? Yeah. Me neither. I might not even buy one. Tell you the truth, I'm not a big console fan. I just got PS3. That's the latest console I bought. That tells you how much I'm into consoles. Just not my thing. I'd rather just do it on the computer. I haven't really seen any game that's just four consoles that I want to play either so there are really too many new games coming out that I'm interested in and I'll stick with my American truck simulator my farming simulator and snow runner and occasional minecraft every once in a great while decided to stop right in the middle of the road. I appreciate that. It's a good thing this load doesn't weigh very much. 44,000 pounds. That would probably gross weight, half a tank of fuel. Probably close 
for a little over 80,000 pounds. It's I don't know, I haven't never weighed this truck yet, so... I mean, this is the first time I've ever drove it. I drove this extended hood one. Not this one. Not just a regular hood. Calling this damn truck Rocky. Likes to rock back and forth. Got some trees. A little couple mountains. We must be, uh, Northern uh, Montana or Wyoming I mean I don't know why I keep calling it Montana it's Wyoming oh damn that's gonna slow her down that turbo about that turbo That's making some boost there. Exit right. Thank you, good buddy. Signs on the ground. There they are. Batch southbound. You got two of them sitting in a medium back here. About a quarter mile back. Kojak with the Kodiak. Or Kodiak with the Kojak. Downshift or upshift? There. Back her down. Closed, I didn't see which one. <laughs> Come on. Come on. going you better go
the street and built back up. tank of fuel. Just hit 18. Wipers on, lights on. I ain't gonna cut it. Not gonna cut it. See how much further we've got. 104 miles. 104 miles to go. Then we head back down south. Or east, whichever one. this shit <laughs> told granny and her studebaker up there to get the fuck out of the way
Are you kidding me? At him. Yeah, speed up now, bitch. What the hell? That's about right. That's, that's the way it'd go in real life. We're going to stop and get some fuel here soon. Well, yeah, we're almost there. Really? Seventy-two miles, fourteen hours, thirty-eight minutes, two hundred nineteen point three gallons of fuel burn. 
total of $64,635. Not bad. For day for 14 hours worth of work. Even with the minus fuel, maintenance, everything, still coming up with a pretty chunk of change. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.